Oh, dang. I'm a little too comfortable with it. I'm sorry. That was oh, crazy. God. That dope for oh, cover. We have the FT Dart. Better yet, we get to actually explore the land that you guys made possible. So this is gonna be so cool. We're actually where our first runway is gonna be and we wanted to go ahead and kind of explore it. And this here basically is nothing but a miniature Kraken. You know, everything the Kraken couldn't do with being too big to haul and everything, this basically made up for it. It's an ultimate throw and go little twin engine wing. It actually started with Anders Liu. Anders came in when he's doing his internship over the uh, summer and he's like, you know, I wanna make a mini Kraken. And a matter of fact, if you guys remember the vlogs, we had to get, we got to have a little bit of fun and uh, fly around some early gen versions. But you know, there's some drawbacks with in the building experience and it was a little complicated. So we refined it, made it a whole new thing called the FT Dart. Yes. But it has all the benefits with differential thrust. You can put FPV on it. it really, it takes a beating. So we actually have our new Power Pack. This is our Power Pack H. So the Power Pack H is actually our Gremlin motors, the 4500 kV Gremlin turbo motors, coupled with uh, a three cell, four cell, or two cell battery, depending on the flight experience you want. So this is a brand new Power Pack. There's gonna be lots of models made around this Power Pack. When I botched my, my uh, first attempt at catching, which you guys didn't see, Oh! <laughs> I broke my power pod, so I took Velcro and I stuck it on both sides. And it's good as new. It's like sticky fiberglass. That's awesome, man. And you good can job. stick things to the sticky fiberglass. We got line of sight dart yep. action, and we got Mr. Steel quad. Mr. Steel didn't build it for me, but our buddies uh, Matt, Matt and Ian, they yeah. killed it. Uh, they built it just like Mr. Steel. You can uh, check the link below if you want to see more information on that. Uh, but we're going to do some chasing. <laughs> There it goes. So what? bird number one in the air, bird number two. Yep, I'm ready. Bird number two in the air. Actually, so far, it's quite a bit uh, easier to chase than I was expecting. I'm just cruising. So you can fly this off a two cell, and it's like a borderline, like a big gymnasium plane. You go three cell, outdoor, fast, four cell, ballistic. That's awesome. And one thing we did is we actually have a power distribution board in here, so you can actually tap out and get your FPV gear, you can get your lights, anything you want. All right, I want to do a flash spin. You ready? Hold on. Oh, I got you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can hear it. Oh! <laughs> oh! I crashed it. Where'd it go? I got it. Don't worry, I'm gonna put a new battery and I'm gonna throw it in right, right now. Go check it out. All right, the most important thing you gotta check. Yourself. They're still on. All right, so, <laughs> so are you trying to talk with the thing in your mouth? I am, I am. So <laughs> I phoned my seven minutes on this battery. Yep. And I didn't replace it because I'm lazy. Okay. So. And so you didn't have any power. So this actually sits right here. <laughs> what are you doing for this? Everyone knows what I'm saying. Oh, that's fantastic. So now part of the cool thing about these uh, planes this size is they are actually small enough that you can put them on your backpack just like yeah. a mini quad like what I'm flying. Um, go ahead. Woo. Back in the air. But let's be uh, let's be honest. We're uh, we're cheating. We got golf carts. Yeah. We still put them on our backpack, but we're not like actually hiking today. But that is the idea. Small tiny little plane. You can take it anywhere with you. You can yeah. put it on your backpack with a quad and bring your quad and an airplane and uh, you have twice the fun because you have two different experiences in one. We got a lot of friends in countries that don't allow anything over 250 grams unfortunately and because of that you know we need something small that can be banged around but also they can legally fly and build and this fits the bill really well. Matter of fact this can actually record HD FEV using our mini split and our good friend Chad Lewis designed an actual pod you can print out and we'll give you free plans for to be able to actually put a mini split. So imagine flying something this small, but also flying FPV, and then also getting HD recorded footage. You got me, bud? Barely. I'm gonna go way up high and flat spin. Okay. Ready? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh man. This is only two sheets of foam, and uh, the whole build experience is really cool. You actually solder everything up. So the, all the hard work is done early on. And then you put two sheets of foam together and we're gonna have free plans for this as well. But it really builds in about an evening, maybe about two hours. Awesome. And that's not Bixler time, that's legitimately two hours. 
you hit me. Oh. So what we really wanted is just kind of like in everybody's wing. It's not going to be specifically for one thing, super high performance. It's really meant if you fly it under a two cell, you could learn off of this wing. It could be your first wing. But also, if you want to race or get some really crazy FPV footage, you can also fly it like that too. So the four cell experience, frankly, is too fast for me. I like cruising on a three cell. And you have differential thrust. So the differential thrust allows you to put one motor up more than the other. And then you spin it like that. It's basically having like oh, the most extreme rudder you've ever experienced without having a rudder. <laughs> it looks like a Chinese star going through the air. Right? And then if you want to pull out of it, you just neutral your throttle and it flies right out. Hey, what do you say that I land this and then I want to get the FPV one out? All right, let's do it. So it come right around. Wow. Whoop, there she goes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Great job. I, I mentioned earlier when we were flying here, uh, Chad Lewis designed an awesome little 3D printable pod that can either take our FXT 805 or this Runcam Split Mini, which gives you HD recording. All right, so let's, uh, let's do let's it. Let's go explore. Let's go have at it. There he goes. Oh, you shit. You almost clipped it. I, really wanted, clipped I it. thought you hit that chair. Okay, come stand by me. All right. I'll stand by you. Uh, oh, you got everything? Yeah, I got it, bro. I'm on you, dude. It's so crazy flying out here compared to the city. Yeah, it's quite, <laughs> quite, quite a stark difference. So we actually relocated. As you can tell, we're at a new area right here by the lake. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's easier to follow you when you're flying FPV. Oh yeah, because I don't turn every five seconds. Yeah, you don't fly like a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> One thing for people who aren't familiar of mixing two hobbies, quads with fixed wing, uh, this is probably some, at least my favorite and probably Josh's too type of flying is I love somebody flying, flying a, together. Oh dang, dude, you're just threading the needle. But yeah, <laughs> fl flying together in any sense is awesome, but especially when you mix FPV quads with an FPV airplane, and you are, dude, effect. you are killing it right now. <laughs> well, it's, it's like the tiny loop of, the, of wings. Yes. You know what I mean? You, you feel like you can do anything. And, and if you're off just a little bit on the yaw, you just bump the throttle or bump the rudder and you're right there. Yeah, and I'm honestly surprised. There's a lot of race wing guys and everybody does the conventional, you know, flying wing with a one pusher motor. I am befuddled of why people haven't done twin engine FPV cruisers. The only guy that I know who's done it is I'd be crazy. Yeah. Dang, dude, you're just killing it. <laughs> And uh, I'd be crazy, I forget what that plane he has is called. This, oh, the Spectre, I think is what it's the called. Spectre, yeah. Um, but I don't understand why people wouldn't want yaw control. Well, we were actually, during testing, we were taking this through gates. It, it's yeah. so cool, you know? It's so easy because if you're going at a target like you are right now, oh, dang, dude, I don't even know. Oh, there's a tree limb. You got it. Did you nice. get it? Oh, the sad thing is I can't take off the, like a quad. Yeah, I'm fine, but I can't take off. Where, am Where I? are you? Dude, hold on a second. <laughs> Dude, that was epic. I don't know if you yeah. saw what he was doing. No, he was going. Going. <laughs> We're just nonchalantly talking, and meanwhile, Josh just takes me on a mystical journey <laughs> through the trees. I'm so used to just having a dirt pile to look at, and now it's like a mystical flight land. <laughs> just hanging out right underneath the trees. It's just two friends right here. Having a picnic under the tree. Dude, Dude, I, I, I don't have little. enough double-sided Velcro tape for that. So anyways, it was fun. It was amazing. Just, I don't even know how long it was. It felt like I was flying for an hour, but it yeah. was probably in realistically like a minute and a half. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, here's the cool thing about these two is you can have a lot of fun with just a couple pieces of foam. Yes. And as always, we always give free plans out along with our speed built kits. That means you can go ahead and go to the dollar store and for literally under 10 bucks, build an airframe. Yeah, so if you guys want to see how to build this out of common materials, this is all foam board from the dollar store, mm -hmm. barbecue skewers, popsicle sticks. And you can check out our free plans and also check out our build video. Yeah. See you guys next time.